Hi, I'm Jeff from JSP Outdoors, and I'm going to do a little overview of some budget backpacks that will get you out on the trail at a price that will not break the bank. Okay, we're going to start from uh, largest to smallest here. And the first one I'll look at, this is the Teton Sports Hiker 4000. Uh, this is a fairly large backpack. It's 4,000 cubic inch. It's uh, 65 liters. It's got plenty of space in this thing. You can pack everything in there. If you're going for a week hike, this is the pack that you want. You can pack everything in there. You've got a very large internal main compartment here uh, that uh, you pack everything, and you have the compartment down here in the bottom that you can put your sleeping bag or your boots or whatever you need to put in there. You got your straps on it to put in your your tent or your sleeping bag on the outside if you need to, or a sleeping pad. Uh, it's got a sleeve here on the inside. Take a look at the inside real quick. This, you got the internal frame right here, and uh, then down here you got a sleeve for your hydration bladder and a hanger for it so it doesn't drop down and everything. And uh, I did a review on this one a while back, and one of the things I want to point out is I said that there was no place for a hydration hose to come out of this backpack. Well, that was not true. I was incorrect. There is a spot, but it's just very well hidden. It's right here on the back, coming out the back. Now, I'm used to most of them coming out the corners, so that's where I was looking. So you can run your hose out there and uh, not have to run it off the top of your pack, which is very good. This has an adjustable shoulder straps on here, so it can fit many different torso lengths. It's got a really good, really well made uh, airflow system here. When I wore this down in Tennessee, uh, this, this was great. It kept me nice and cool, kept my back cool. Um, it's got very nice thick padded half inch padding there on the, on the hip pads. Very thick uh, belt on it. It's a very good backpack. This one ran me around $70, so it's not bad. Next one I want to look at is also a Teton Sports. This is the Teton Sport Hiker, Ultralight Hiker they call it, uh, 3700. Now it's not actually an ultralight backpack, but it is lighter than most. Uh, where this one here is about four and a half, maybe closer to five pounds, this one is only three and a half pounds. So you save a couple pounds there. Uh, this one is a very nice backpack. This is the first one that I purchased and uh, I've enjoyed this pack. It just barely fit me. I'm six foot three and I have a very long 22 inch torso. And this one just barely fit me. On the website, it says it goes up to a 21 and a half. Well, we squeezed myself down a little bit and got me in there too with this uh, 21 and a half. It's got a very large main storage area here where you can pack everything in there and your food. Uh, you got your smaller compartment down here for your sleeping bag or boots or whatever, just like this one had. And uh, just like this one, uh, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but it has uh, two top pouches here in the hood. It's got an, uh, an outside and an inside one for you to, to store your gear in. Great place to store a hat, uh, glasses, whatever. This one's got two nice side pouches here. Um, this is where I usually keep my water hydration uh, filter system at on one side, and I usually keep my insect repellent and sunscreen on the other side, along with various other things like... Uh, my fork or whatever so I can easily eat or make some snacks there. Uh, it's got a nice ripstop material to it. It's a lighter material. Uh, this one has got a 600D ripstop material. Uh, it's a very strong. This one is rugged. It's a beast. I've had this and taken it through quite a bit and there's not a scuff on it. It's a beast. I even passed, almost passed out on the trail with this thing and fell over and not a problem with it. This one's got a very nice harness system on it. Uh, it's all completely adjustable. So your top here is adjustable and uh, your bottom is actually adjustable as well. So you can adjust it either way. Uh, it's got an internal frame that uh, runs right on the outside just underneath these. This is what your, your uh, harness system is, is riding on. Uh, just as this, this one back here has, it's got uh, straps here for your, uh, your harness to take the load off your shoulders, very important. You got pouches on the side. These ones are nice and stretchy. You can put decent sized water bottles in them. They work really good. This one, though these aren't quite as thick, they do have this split system which helps it to contour around your, around your hips. And this one has um, a nice little pouch on, on the outside here that you can put your compass or whatever, your phone or maybe some beef jerky in there, whatever you need. 
It's got a, the breast strap as well. I found this one to be a very comfortable backpack too. I did a, I did 20 mile days with this backpack on, never had a single problem with it. We hiked in some pouring rain and uh, with the, um, underneath here you got a rain fly that comes out there. With that rain fly, rain cover over top of it, I didn't get wet inside at all. This one also has a rain cover in there too. So it's been a very good backpack. I've enjoyed this one. Um, great if you're going out for you know, anywhere from like uh, three to five days, this one will do you really well. Lastly, on my budget list of backpacks, this is the Outlander. Now I'm breaking away from my T10 Sports that I like. This is the Outlander 45 liter adventure backpack. It's a 45 plus five, which means it's got a 45 liter internal compartment in here. And then it also has a five liters on the outside in various pouches, so you can consider a 50 liter. Uh, this is a smaller backpack. This is something that you, you wouldn't want to do a week in this backpack. You wouldn't be able to stick enough food in there for that. But it's a great backpack, especially for day hikes or overnighters, uh, things like that. Or if you're a very small person and you don't take much clothing, this will work perfect for you. This one cost me around $50 on Amazon. Uh, it's got YKK zippers on it, and these are sealable. When I zip that up, that seals so that pocket stays dry. And it even does have, down here, it has the uh, rain cover as well you get caught out in the rain. Um, you got a very large uh, internal compartment here. You have a very large internal compartment and you got a sleeve for your hydration pouch with your outlet here so your hose can come out. And they even uh, installed right on it this nice little uh, hose uh, clip there to keep your hose from flopping around everywhere. That's a good idea. Uh, you got a small uh, bottom compartment here for your, uh, you can put your sleeping bag, your tent, shoes, whatever you need to in there. Um, this one doesn't have a ceiling. These two have ceilings in those, so they're separated, but you can unzip them. This doesn't exactly have a ceiling, but what it does have is this, where you can, you can pull that draw strap and it'll strap that into a ceiling there. Um, not as great as having the zipper system, but it'll work. Um, it's, uh, that way you can separate the two or you can have it wide open. The nice thing is it's easy accessible. If you know you have something right here in the middle of your pack and you don't want to take everything out the top, maybe coming in this way will be easier. You've got two uh, mesh pouches on the sides, which are very nice. Uh, you can put a, you can put some, uh, maybe like a one liter bottle in there. They're not the stretchiest material out there, uh, but you could probably put a one liter bottle in there. Uh, on, the, on the front side here, uh, starting at the bottom here, you got your waist strap and you got pockets on your hip pads here. Uh, two pouches on each one, not the biggest ones, but you could stick some a few things in there. Um, these aren't the thickest. They're not nearly as thick and, and hardy as the, the Teton Explorer ones are. But if you're just wearing this for a, a day and you're not packing it real heavy, if you only got maybe 20 pounds max in here, these would be just fine. Now one of the things that this really does good at is uh, this, this suspension system is, is amazing. Uh, it's got very nice thick shoulder pads. You got your load leveler uh, straps on it. But this piece of mesh right here, this is designed to keep the pack from riding right up against your back. And what that does, it gets uncomfortable. It can scratch and scrape and call rub spot, cause rub spots on there. I've had that happen. And it also gives a place where this will put a, have a lot of airflow through here. So there's, only thing that's really touching your back is just this mesh. So it'll keep you nice and dry and cool. I plan on using this in August to hike up in the mountains of Slovakia and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite hot. So I, I'll, I will enjoy having this. So this one cost me about $50. This is the Outlander Adventure 45. This is the Teton Sports uh, Hiker or yeah Hiker 3700. And this one cost me, uh, I believe it was around $68. And this is the T10 Sports Explorer 4000. You get a nice view of them all here. And this one here, this uh, T10 Explorer 4000, it cost me around, I think it was around $75, a little bit more expensive than this one here. But these are three great budget backpacks. Now granted, they are not as good as like your Ospreys, your Gregory Z-Packs and things like that. Uh, but if you're just starting out and you're trying to get out on the trail and you've got a budget you're dealing with, 
These are great backpacks that will get you out there. Uh, they're very comfortable, very durable. They last, they haven't broke down on me at all. Um, I've enjoyed them, my wife has enjoyed them. I've lent them out to other people that have used them and they've enjoyed them, never had any problems with them. So for that price point, you can't go wrong. So check them out on Amazon or wherever else that you can find them in local stores if you have an REI nearby maybe. Uh, check them out, they're great backpacks. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you out on the trail. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Check out some of my other outdoor adventure videos. I have a lot of fantastic videos to come as I continue hiking, bushcraft, and all things outdoors and bring it all to you. Stay tuned.